This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Express on SABC3. An exciting morning because we are cooking with pomegranates. And this time around, when I heard Norwegian salmon, I was there. Welcome to the show, Roy. Thank you very much. What it's are we good making? to be here again. Huh? Fish, I see, pomegranates. Yep. How do the two go together? These go together fantastically. This is probably one of the most healthiest meals you can ever eat. Really? With all the goodness that you get in salmon and all the dietary fiber and all the other goodness you get out of pomegranates. Well, let's get started. Should we? Yeah. Right. Let's get the pan on. First of all, you want to marinate the salmon. You don't have to, but I like to do it. So what did okay? you marinate it with? We marinate it in. I'll show you here. A little bit of fennel. Ah. You can crush those up a bit just to really extract the flavours. Right. Uh, crushed garlic. Yeah, I'm going to move this because I want to see what you're doing. Right yes, some crushed garlic in there. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. I should have predicted that. <laughs> you should have that, hey? Hence the fish. Perfect. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay, well that's fairly easy. Our keyword for this morning is fish. Fish is 57 to 8 if you want to recreate this recipe. But let's first get started and see how he makes this. Just okay. mix this all together nicely. Now if and you say marinating a fish, how long do you do this for? Not long. Okay. Not long, especially with a nice taste of salmon. You don't want to marinate it too long. Okay. Not like beefs or lambs or things like that. Right. You probably want to marinate that for maximum two hours. Okay. And that's it. It's still a fairly, you know? I thought 30 minutes. Okay, two hours. All two right. hours max. Right. All right. I've switched your pan on already. You must just check whether it's hot enough. Okay. Let's just give it the feel. I think it's hot. Now yeah. with salmon, you cook salmon how you want, but you should actually just sear it. Right. In a pan, shh, shh, on the other side, done. That's it. Nice okay. and rare still in the middle. How are you going to do that? Exactly like that? I'm going to do it the ch ch way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to ch ch at home <laughs> and make sure that it's still medium on the inside. Okay, so a fairly hot pan, huh? A very hot pan. You, know, okay. you want to get butter in there. You actually want to put it in when the butter starts to go a little bit brown and foams, just like we have there. Mine just does this naturally when I cook all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how to get it brown. Okay. Right, we've got that salmon in there. Literally... Ah, 10, 15 seconds on each Should side. Should I turn it up you know? more? You can, yeah. Give yeah, it, I'm going to I'm gonna give you a little bit more heat. Okay, there, there we go. go. So man. we've got some fire under that. We've Do you add fire. some salt or anything you else? You can add a little bit of salt now, but not really necessary. Okay. You know? Just put Perfect. a bit of salt on the skin so it crisps the skin up a little bit. Okay, all right. Our keyword for this morning is fish. Fish to 33728. You get a beautiful recipe. Of course, I can't wait to get to the actual pomegranate mm, salsa because that's what we're making today. How do we get started? This salsa is so simple. We've got notches here. We've Nachis. just obviously peeled them, got rid of all the pips, etc. Notches in. A little bit of cumin. Yeah. Get that in there. Avocado. Avocado, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's get that avocado in. Avocado has become <laughs> avocado. <laughs> Okay, let's so you turn this. it around, okay. And Look I can see that. you getting in there. You're not scared to actually touch the meat. Oh, no, no, that's actually you know, we, problem. We're so careful in the kitchen usually. That's, okay, so avocado in there. What else are you putting avocado, in there? Avocado, diced onion, another squeeze of lemon juice. You love the lemon in I there. I love it, especially with fish, you know. This okay, now good. we want to switch that off. fish done? Okay, so I'll switch off the pan for you. you there we go. It's just, let, just let him rest there for a couple of minutes. A little bit of black pepper. Oh, it smells good in this kitchen. Grated wow. apple. It smells amazing in this kitchen, Grated eh? Grated apple. Wish you were here. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> <laughs> and our pomegranates. And then pomegranates. Finally, put, I was waiting for them. I'm going to put half in and I'll show you why. Do you use end, any you of know? the juice? No, not really, because you, you, you want to put a bit of olive oil in here and you got the juice from the nachi, the juice from the apple, so that's fine. Okay, you know? that's enough juice for you, I guess. All right. A little bit of olive oil. It's really colourful, huh? This is fantastic. That's why I said okay. this is not just one of the most healthy dishes around, it's a very sexy dish, you know? Aww. It's got lots of colour. We love sexy food. It's a we new do. year. We should be making stuff that's amazing <laughs> and beautiful. So on goes our fish. On goes the fish. Beautifully plated so far. What else do we add? Now in with it? this, you can, you can you can serve it with what you want. You know, a little side salad, a little bit of couscous salad, a little got baby couscous. potatoes. Okay. But we gain couscous. All right. Okay. So couscous on the plate. So let's put a bit of couscous. Just so nice good with this. Side. Why, thank you. You see, it still has to look homemade, hey? You should wrap it, it up a bit. Yeah. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it for hey, this morning. poke it a bit. <laughs> I'll keep it for this morning is fish. Fish to 33728. You get a beautiful link to the recipe that gives you the ingredients and also you can make and recreate this recipe okay. at home. There goes our salsa. I want to see where salsa, you put it. Guys. Don't cover the whole fish, especially if you've got a couple of guests. You know, They want to see the fish too. Just run down the side that there. That fish looks perfect. It's lovely. How long did it take, more or less? 
three and a half minutes, minutes four okay. minutes. Well, it just shows minutes. you how quick it is. Well, to show you how quick and easy it really is, we're gonna show you how we got to this point. There we go, guys. Marinate salmon in garlic, fennel seed, lemon juice, olive oil, and seasoning for 30 minutes. Mix pomegranate seeds, nachis, lemon juice, avo, apple, onion, jalapeno, cumin, olive oil, and seasoning. Heat butter in a pan, then fry the salmon. Serve salmon topped with the salsa. Our keyword is fish, fish to 33728. You can create this beautiful okay. recipe at home. Okay, what else are you putting on there? Plate of the whole thing, and then I said I'm going to reserve a few pomegranates just for the colour, just to go on top. Sure, you know? it's beautiful, hey? And there we go. And then we can even just. Delicious! Some salmon and pomegranate plate. salsa. You can make this at home and start the new year off beautifully. You heard it earlier, our sexy dish for the morning. It you is. did really well. And there we go, guys. So there's our knife and fork in case you want to. Taste some Enjoy. really pretty. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's just for you. Thank you. Well, Don't I'm definitely having. Don't let get in, okay? <laughs> no, I'm having fish for breakfast. <laughs> I already had a pomegranate cake behind the. Uh, we're eating way too much pomegranate in the kitchen. It's fun. It's sexy. It's great.